Hello, hello, guys. Good evening. Good morning. <laughs> Good night es la cosa. Estoy amaneciendo. Okay, guys. Um, hello. Good evening. Uh, welcome once again to every one of you. Thank you so much for always being on time. That's really good. And well, first of all, can you guys hear me clearly? Yes, can you hear me? Can you hear me, guys? Hello? Yes. Hi. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, because sometimes I have some problems with my earphones and sometimes they are not working well. So that's why every time I ask you, because I don't know if they are working or not. So guys, for today, we are going to have kind of review and then we will have a practice. So it means, significa que el día de ahora tenemos evaluation, okay? About all your skills or about the topics or some of the topics that we have seen during these uh, days. Today is our ninth class. And nuestra clase número nueve. And can you please try and uh, turn your microphone off, Luis? Okay, thank you so much. Um, okay, as I was saying, guys, today we're going to have a practice. And today is our ninth class. We already have nine classes. So this uh, module is going to be about 16 classes. So it means that when we finish the class numbers, no, number 16, uh, then the module is going to be over. So we just have like seven more classes or something like that, and we are going to be done. So, but first of all, guys, we are going to go like through like to check some of the topics so that you probably like remember some of the things before going to the exam. So um, first of all, let me ask you some questions regarding to the topic that was so yesterday. What was yesterday's topic? What was yesterday's topic, guys? Adjectives. Yeah, adjective. It was about adjectives. What do you remember about adjectives? What's an adjective, first of all? What is an adjective? What do you remember about it? Mm -hmm. Is there something that you remember? Adjective positive. Positive adjectives. What mm -hmm. is an adjective? But what is that? What is it? It's jolly, broad, 
brave, delicate. Mm -hmm. So, but those are examples. But what is que es un adjective? What is that? How do I know that that is an adjective? Es la es que... información que se da del sujeto. Information. Información de más. Extra información. Extra información. Como... Yes. Lo llamamos It's... en español, sería más adjetivo calificativo. Mm, ¿Lo decimos en español? Not exactly, because hay diferentes tipos de adjetivos calificativos, adjetivos... Eh, que de apariencia, adjetivos que pueden ser colors al mismo tiempo, adjetivos que a veces pueden ser nacionalidad, and things like that. For example, eh, estuve viendo, I was checking some of your answers or some of your, um, of the last exercise. So let me try to show you this. So let me share the screen. Let me see. Okay. This exercise, I was checking your homework. Las personas que me enviaron su tarea, ¿verdad? Estaba, I was checking some of them. And I saw, me di cuenta, o oh, I realized, que la mayoría de ustedes tuvo, si no es que casi todos, bueno, casi todos. You got wrong, estuvieron mala, number three, la número tres. Why? Because the majority of you thought, la mayoría pensó que el adjective era el verbo like. See, I was checking some of you. La mayoría de ustedes puso ahí el adjective like. But let me, let me tell you something. Okay, in this case, we have the sentence, Robert likes German cars. Que significa Roberto o a Roberto le gustan las, los carros alemanes. <coughs> so, en ese caso, in that case, el verbo es like. Sí, pero el adjetivo aunque parece que es una nacionalidad, el adjetivo es German. It's not like. ¿Sí? Y la mayoría de ustedes, bueno, casi todos hasta el momento no vi, no, no sé si eh, verifiqué mal, pero vi que casi todos pusieron likes como adjetivo. So, let's go. ¿Cómo yes. se... Esa tarea, ¿cómo era entonces? <laughs> Solo era identificar, identify, aquí dice identify the correct adjective. Identificar el adjetivo que está en toda la oración. Oh, yo pensé que era complementar. Bueno, me perdí entonces. <laughs> no, it was just to find the adjective. For example, in number one, Alba, what do you have in number one? Or what do you think the number one answers is? <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. That's the adjective. Why? Because a qué sustantivo está describiendo la palabra beautiful? A qué describe? A cat. Gato. A cat. Está diciendo que that's a beautiful cat. So it means it's giving you extra information about a cat. What about number two, Nidia? It's a big. Big. Why? And what is the noun that is describing? Uh -huh. What's it's the noun? The substantive. City. City. We're it's talking city. about uh -huh. a city. Let me ask you this question in general. <coughs> will be correct. It will be correct if I say we live in a city. Is that correct? Does it sound correct for you? Suena correcto para ustedes. If I say, we live in a city. What do you guys think? 
Oh. Yes, teacher. Eh, yes. Ajá, porque el adjetivo es como un agregado. Exactly. Como decir, es una gran ciudad. ¿eh? Exactly. Very good. So now, let's go to number four. Let me see, uh, Arely. I'm sorry, Arely. <laughs> what is the adjective over there? Do you like? have it? I'm sorry, repeat it again. Uh, live. Live. Oh, you got a translator. Tienes un traductor atrás. Uh, I heard. It. So now I'm talking about sentence number four. What is the adjective on sentence number four? Uh, Expensive. Uh, Expansive, right, that's the adjective. Thank you so much. What's your name? Who said that? What's your name? Who said the answer? Who said it? ¿Quién lo dijo? Carla Flores. Carla, okay, very good, yes. So number four, the adjective is expansive. Why? Because we are describing the clothes and we're saying que la ropa es cara. Okay. What about number five, um, Luis? Uh, black. Black. As we can see, como podemos observar, chicos, no importa, hay veces si es un color, hay veces un color puede actuar como un adjetivo o incluso un gentilicio o nacionalidad, German. So, we gotta be really careful, guys. At this moment, en este momento, quizás ustedes se preguntan, pero ¿cómo voy a saber? Ok, esto solo es el comienzo en next module, en el próximo <laughs> módulo, ya se le va a explicar a profundidad. Cómo encontrar exactly an adjective in a sentence, okay? But at this moment, this is just general information for you, okay? So, Gabriela, number six. I have a pair. No, and number no, six. Jim, mm -hmm. Jim is funny guy. What's the adjective over there? Funny. Funny, great. Juan Fernando, number seven. John. John, very good. Uh, number eight, Maricela. Uh, long. Long. Elizabeth, Hirong, number nine. Inter <laughs> Inter interesting. Inter interesting. Inter interesting. Interesting. <laughs> okay. And last one, number 10, Adrián. Ahorita veo, profe. No ver cómo me dijo, perdón. Nunca había tenido una I'm sorry. Está bien fácil. Tomás, as. No, no, no. Number 10. Are you still there? Well, are you still profe, there? Perdón, profe, me escucha. Yes, I said number 10. 10. That is a silly move. Mm -hmm. And what is the adjective? Like that. What's the adjective, Adrian? Silly. 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 And what does silly mean? Que significa silly? English is pretty. What? What does silly mean, guys? Tonto. Tonto. Yes, that's the meaning of silly. Okay, very good. 
So, guys, um, well, as I said, as I said at the beginning, today we have practice. I will call it practice, but deep inside, I'm talking about evaluation, okay? <coughs> How are we going to do that? ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? Very simple. First of all, we are going to go through the through the all of the things that I'm going to ask you. Like we are going to start. The first thing that we're going to do is let me share the screen with you. Okay. So here we have today's practice, and we are going to start by the alphabet. I'm just gonna say the alphabet very quickly. Uh, lo voy a decir rápido because I think or I consider that you already started, okay? So, so that we do not have any problem. Considero que ya todos, esto ya lo vimos, and I think that you're studying at home, so um, you won't have any problem. I'm going to start. A, V, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, U, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Okay? So I consider that we do not have any problem at this moment when it comes to the uh, alphabet. Now, with that being said, let me ask you, is there any question, is there any question that we can ask to someone with the alphabet? Hay alguna pregunta que hagamos para using the alphabet? Can you spell your name? Can you spell your name? That's, uh, that's a very good question. Normally, the one that we're going to use is that one. Esa es la que vamos a utilizar. Can you spell or how do you spell? Yes, how do you spell that? How do you spell uh, what dog? How do you spell house? How do you spell this and this and that? That is the question that we are going to use when it comes to the alphabet. So I consider that the majority of you or all of you already know the alphabet. Creo que ya no tenemos ningún problema con el alfabet. Am I right? Estoy en lo correcto? Yo siempre tengo un poco de problema. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you so much for your honesty. The other ones, los demás, I need a yes or a no. Are we still having some issues with the alphabet? So, so. Okay. Generalmente siempre me equivoco con las vocales, de ahí creo que todo está bien. Igual yo solamente con las vocales. With the vowels. Okay, how do we say? A mí con todo. Oh, everything who said that. <laughs> todo who said that. Okay. So how do we say letter A? How do we say A? A. A. How do we say A? E. 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 How do we say E? I. 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 How do we say O? O. 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 And the o. last one, how do we say U? U. 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 You see, they are not complicated. Probably, probablemente, it's because in, in Spanish, estamos acostumbrados como en español, que la decimos rápido. I, yo, no. In English, I understand that at the beginning, entiendo que al inicio is going to be complicated, va a ser complicado, but as long as you practice, si practicamos, recuérdense, hay un dicho que dice, la práctica hacia el quién? Maestro. There you go. So if you practice, obviously, if you practice every day or what? Uno de los tips, uno de los consejos que siempre o algo que ustedes pueden utilizar es, if you go, si puede parecer un poco tonto, guys, pero al inicio eso le ayuda mucho a uno. ¿Cómo? You go, you go uh, by bus. Vas en el bus. 
And all of a sudden, de repente, tú ves algo en English. Okay, you see a word. Ves una palabra. O ves un árbol y, y, y tú dices, okay, ¿cómo digo árbol en English? Tree. And how do I spell that? Y en tu mente, tú empiezas a deletrear, okay? T-R-E-E. -E. ¿Sí? Esas son prácticas that are going to help you. Que les van a ayudar a ustedes. ¿Ven alguna palabra en inglés? Ok, tratan de deletrearla en su mente. So that is going to help you a lot. But what if you do not practice? ¿Qué hay si no practica? So, obviously, you are not going to understand. And that's for sure. So, um, with that being said, let's move. Let's move on to the, to the uh, numbers. As you can see, these are the common, um, estas son las preguntas comunes that we ask, que le hacemos a alguien, about the numbers. What is the meaning of what time is it? It is. ¿Qué hora es? ¿Qué hora es? <laughs> And to ask that, para hacer esa pregunta, yo utilizo el personal pronoun it. See? And I say, what time is it? Oh, let me see. I'm going to ask someone. Le voy a preguntar a alguien. Uh, Nidia, what time is it? Now. Now, ahorita. What time is it? It is at 8.20. 8.20. Very good. Now, let me ask someone else. Uh, Areli. If I ask you the question, how old are you? How old are you? What's gonna be your answer? What is your answer to that question? Fecha de ahora. No, no, no. I'm asking you, how old are you? What does that mean, guys? Los otros, mm -hmm. what's the meaning of that question? ¿Qué años tiene? ¿Cuántos ¿Cuántos años tiene? tiene? Yes. So if I ask you the question, Areli, how old are you? What is your answer to that question? Uh, I am... Invente, vea. Si no quiere decir la edad, invente. <laughs> hmm. uh, ay, pero no puedo decir el número 30. How do we say 30, guys? 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. I am 30 years old. Okay. Thank you so much, Arely. Now, uh, let me see. Alba, if I ask you, if I ask you, how much does the computer cost? How much does your computer cost? It is, um, it is 25. Um, 25 or de que otra forma it costs $25. Okay, very good. Remember, guys, these questions we ask these questions to have an idea or to use the numbers in these questions. Okay, those are the most common questions that we use uh, with the numbers. Example if I ask um just an example luis if i ask you how many pupusas did you eat i hit i eat four pupusas in the morning i ate el pasado i ate me comí four pupusas in the morning okay very good what if i ask um let me see carla flores what if i ask you what is your phone number My phone number is seven. Say any any number. Invéntelo. If you don't want everyone else to know it. Okay. Um, my phone number is six one mm -hmm. seven five seven mm -hmm. three um three one. Three one. Okay. Let me ask you guys, when we saw these questions, cuando vimos estas preguntas, what did I tell you? ¿Qué les dije acerca de cuando decimos los números? 
Uh, can we, we say, can say it okay. two by two? We can say it two, uh, two by two, or we can say one number by one number. Both of them are correct. So you can use the same ways as we say it in Spanish. So if I ask, let me see. If I ask uh, Maricela, Alejandrina, if I ask you, how many children do you have? <laughs> Maricela? Well, I think Maricela is not there. So let me see, Teresita, if I ask you, how many children do you have? Si no tiene, invente. Okay. <laughs> I have one boy and one girl. I have one boy and one girl. Very good. Now, here, as you can see, we have the numbers. Estos son los números que ya lo sabemos. How do we say, let me see, how do we say 70, guys? Everyone, question in general. 70. 70. Okay. Okay, very good. How do we say mil? One thousand. One million. One thousand. One thousand. Are you sure that is thousand? One million. One million. One million. What is the pronunciation that I told you? It's not one thousand. One thousand. One thousand. 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 Remember yesterday <laughs> I told you. Ayer les dije. En inglés, cuando tenemos TH, normally va a sonar como letra Z de nuestro español. Z. So we say 1000, okay? 1000 with, uh, with the letter Z. So pay attention to those little details. So how do we say un millón? Un million. One million. One million. One million. So now let me let me see Luis Arevalo. How would you say 1996? One thousand nine nine hundred ninety nine ninety nine. Okay, or, that was very good. Or uh huh. Yes. Or nineteen. 99. Uh -huh. Excellent. So remember that in English, we are allowed to say both ways. See? Dos formas. Uh, way number one, two by two. Generalmente, as I said, Americans use the most two by two. Los americanos generalmente le van a decir de dos en dos. But if you want to say it completely, that's not a problem. They are also going to understand that. So it's up to you. But remember, most of the time, they use two by two. So remember, guys, this is just a review. This es únicamente un repaso para mientras nos vamos a la evaluation, okay? So ask questions. Haga las preguntas si tiene preguntas. Because in the evaluation, Nadie le va a ayudar, ¿verdad? No ser que tenga alguien atrás de usted que yo no veo, ahí sí. But then, si no hay nadie, so it's only you, that's okay. So if you have questions, ask the questions. Now, guys, as you can see here, we have the ordinal numbers, los ordinales. Do you remember the pronunciation of that? Let me see. Uh, para todos, in general. How do we say veinteavos? Twenty-eight. Twenty. Mm. Twenty-eight. Twenty. Twenty-eight. Twenty. Twenty-eight. 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 Cuarentavos. Forty years. So how do I say veinticinco avos? Twenty-five. 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 Are you 25. sure? Están seguros como que se sacan diez ahora. 
25. Are, are you sure that is 25? Nadie me la ha dicho correcta hasta ahorita. 25. 25. Excellent, Ana. 25. Nada que ver con 25, ¿verdad? Porque 25 es 25, no 25 avos. So, be careful. Be careful with that, okay? So, how do I say 18 avo? 18. Do I make any difference in pronunciation? ¿Hago alguna diferencia en pronunciación? Yes, 18. we are the TH 18. at the end. The, the TH 18. at the end. Okay. 18. 18th. Very good. 18th. Excellent. So, is there any questions so far, guys? Is there any questions so far? No questions? No questions. No. Ok, espero puros dieces ahora, ¿verdad? Puros dieces, ya que no hay questions, puros dieces. Ok, so, this is what we saw yesterday. This is what we saw yesterday, and here we have a very big list. Es una lista muy grande. I do understand that that's a lot. Son varios. I know that that's going to take you, que les va a tomar, like, extra time, extra tiempo, to understand them or to learn them or to memorize them. Para memorizarlos, probably. But what I'm going to do, lo que voy a hacer es que voy a tomar los adjectives que son más conocidos by the majority. ¿Sí? No le voy a decir a usted uno así como itchy. What's the meaning of itchy? Ya no nos acordamos, teacher, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué me conecté a la clase ahora? Mm -hmm. What's the meaning of itchy? Ajá. Es, es irritado. Irritado, itchy. but like how? ¿Cómo qué? De la, de, como de, irritado de, piel, de la piel. De la piel. De picazón, de yes, de like picazón. that. Okay, very good. Excellent. So another one, let me see. Um, thankful. What's the meaning of thankful? Agradecido. Agradecido. Excellent. Very good. So with all that being said, con todo eso ya dicho, is there any question, guys? About the vocabulary? Mm. Maybe, because I don't remember all the meaning. Yeah, of course. As I, as I said, I understand that probably that is going to take you more time to memorize them. But lo que yo voy a hacer, voy a tomar los más fáciles, los más conocidos. All right? So así no vamos a tener tanto problema. Okay? So, but my, my question is that if there's something, si hay algo que se nos olvidó, algo que quieren que vuelva a repetir, do you want me to repeat once again? This is the time for you to ask. Hi. Este es el momento en que lo podemos volver a repetir. Luego Teacher, en la evaluación, sí. no. Uh -huh. Teacher, si sí, con los eh, números ordinales, creo que es. Este, si Ana, Ana, antes Ordinal. me los puedo en español. I know, I know. That's the problem. <laughs> Ese es el problema. Que hay veces sí. eh, en nuestro <laughs> propio idioma manejamos varias cosas. Pero sí, porque complicated. en español creo oh. que hasta noveno me lo oh. puedo. Décimo. De ahí para allá ya no sé cómo se dicen. I know. It's, that's completely understandable. I understand no that situation. I know. No los conozco también. So, um, what I'm going to do, uh, once again, voy a tomar los más fáciles, ¿verdad? Para que todos salgamos bien como usted. La mayoría, or the majority of you, la mayoría conoce hasta el 10 máximo, as Elizabeth said. 
porque de ahí no sabemos cómo sí. se dicen del once para arriba, ¿verdad? Onceavo, doceavo. It's kind of complicated even in Spanish. Incluso en español, it's complicated. So, with that being said, any question? Insisto en las preguntas, ¿verdad? Porque después, there won't be time for you to ask questions. No habrá tiempo para ustedes hacer preguntas. So, there's no questions? No? Okay. El silencio dijo más que mil palabras, ¿verdad? So, I think that everything is clear. Todo está claro. Aflicciones. <laughs> no, don't worry. It's going to be easy. Va a ser fácil. Eh, si yo... Igual yo pienso que en la mayoría en lo que me quedaría un poco atrasada sería en, en los números ordinales y en el vocabulary. Vocabulary. Yes, I understand that, that situation. But as I said, eh, tienen todo el tiempo para podérselos aprender. Es, ayer vimos qué significado, vimos meaning, vimos pronunciation, mm. but I understand. Yo entiendo. I understand that is going to be a little bit difficult. Se va a ser un poco complicado probably for you to, um, to get all this vocabulary. So, um, do you have a book? Tienen un cuaderno cerca de ustedes at this moment? Yeah. Pen or, pen or yes. pencil? Yes. Everyone, no. todos? No. Yes, yes, yes. No. Who said no? Yes. Juan, you don't have a book? Uh, book? No. No, give me a minute. All right, no problem. I want everyone, quiero que todos, every one of you to have your notebook, pen, or pencil over there because the practice is going to be there in your notebook, in su cuaderno. You let me know when you're ready. Todos me dejan saber cuando ya estén listos, so we can start. I almost done. Give me okay. a minute. Don't worry, it's okay. Verdad, los que no los puedo ver, verdad, porque quizás van a copiar o algo. Por favor, be conscious, okay? Conscientes de su conocimiento, verdad? It's on under your responsibility. Bajo su responsabilidad. This is your time. For you to show that you understand. See? ¿Sí? Vamos a confiar en ustedes, en los demás, okay? Okay, I'm ready. All right. So, every one of you, we are going to start. Vamos a empezar con spelling. ¿Sí? Deletreo. Spelling. ¿Sí? Good luck. Buena suerte para todos. Every one of you, good luck. Before we start, is there any question? Antes que empecemos, alguna pregunta, no? <coughs> no? Okay. So, Tengo we're going. Miedo. Don't be scared. It's going to be okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, we're going to start. As I, as I did it the first time, guys, como lo hice la primera <coughs> ocasión, I'm going to spell you palabras. I'm going to spell you some words. And uh, um, as soon as you complete, cuando yo diga, deje de decir la última, you send, envía su captura de pantalla o photograph or picture con su nombre abajo al grupo. Okay, so I can see. Así puedo ver y tener record, tener el, eh, la prueba de que ustedes sí lo hicieron. I have 15 people. Tengo 15 personas acá. Eh, Nidia, Luis Arevalo, Ana Acevedo, Elizabeth Girón, Gloria Mercedes, Gabriela Sánchez, Teresita Hernández, Omar Durán, Alba Duarte, Juan Fernando, Carla Flores, Catherine Reyes, Arely Orellana, Adrián, and Maricel. So I want every one of you tengo que recibir 15 pictures, ¿ok? So, uh, 
if you have your microphone on, please try to turn it off. Tratemos de apagar los micrófonos, so there won't be interference. Así no habrá interferencia para los demás. Hello. Okay. So now, que ya todos estamos with the microphones off. Voy a repetir, I will repeat la palabra dos veces, okay? No more than that. No más de eso. Two times. Yeah, twice. Dos veces. So, listos o no, allá voy, ¿verdad? Number one. Número uno. Number one. A. D. G. E. C. T. I. V. E. You got it? Esa fue la primera vez. Let's go now. La segunda vez, la misma palabra. Pay attention. A, D, G, E, C, T, I, V, E. So, that's all for number one. Eso es todo para el número uno. Number two. Conforme, chicos, vayamos subiendo... Vamos a ir aumentando un poquitito la velocidad, ¿ok? So, number two. Y, O, U, N, G. I will repeat it again. Y. O, U, N, G. Now, let me ask you, in number one, ¿alguien escuchó que pronuncié corre incorrecta una letra? ¿O está correcta? Sí, en la primera. En la primera. ¿Y por la, qué? La... En la primera, uh -huh. creo que la tercera. Ajá. Sí, sí eh, fue, dijo J. Did I say J or G? Dijo G. G. Ok. Why era, why? No, 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 it was J. Sí, esperaba que alguien dijera, hey, teacher, se equivocó, ¿verdad? Pero <laughs> nadie, ¿verdad? Ok. Yo estaba tratando de... Recordar. <laughs> No, no, no de recordar, sino que de comprender la palabra, pero al leerla dije, no es esa la palabra, me habré equivocado, pero sí, ya veo que estaba en lo correcto. Yes, you were right. That was, eso fue a propósito, ¿ok? But I see, ya me di cuenta que varios por ahí ya dieron su opinión. Ok, it means that you're paying attention to that. Ok, excellent. So... Number three, number three, N, N, solo una N, ¿verdad? La repetí dos veces, my bad. E, R, V, O, U, S. Once again, N, E, R, V. O U S. Number four. Number four. R O U N D. Una vez más. R O U N D. Number five. Una fácil. H-O-T. Once again, 
Una vez más, H-O-T. How many do we got? ¿Cuántas tenemos hasta el momento? Five. 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 Okay. Five. Five. The last one. La última. The last one. N. E. G. A. T. I. V. E. Once again. N. E. G. A. T. I. V. E. So now, with that being said, take the picture right now, take the picture and send it. Me, me, me perdí en la última. Yo también. <laughs> Igual yo, me perdí en la última. Okay, so. Okay, let me see. Okay. All right, okay, excellent. All right, very good. So we finish with that. I will check. Eh, las voy a estar revisando later on. And uh, now let's go with the numbers. Vamos con la práctica de los números. We're going to do the same thing. Vamos a hacer eh, lo mismo. I'm going to tell you some numbers. And then as soon as I finish saying the numbers, you have to send uh, a picture of what I said, okay? So I will be checking all of them later on. So, are you guys ready? Yes. Okay, teacher. let's go. Yes, yes teacher. teacher eh, vamos a escribir el número o el, eh, con la palabra? No, that is going to be just the number. I'm going to tell you the number. Yo les voy a decir como el número completo and you are going to Solo escribirlo en número, no letras. Ok, so. Let's, see. let's go. Uh, 74. 74. Uh, I got audio issue. Oh, I will repeat it again. 74. Numero dos, number two, 53. 53. Numero tres, 47. 47. Ajá, por ahí escuché que alguien dijo 47, le dio la respuesta. No escuché quién fue, es que pero... Fue. Ese no me lo puedo. Ok. Now, eh, I'm sorry, eh, íbamos por el tercero o cuarto. Cuarto. Por el cuarto. Tercero, tercero. Ok, el number, cuarto, number sí. four, 89. 89. Number five, 275. 275. Number five, numero cinco. El six. Oh, yes, oh, six. I'm sorry, my bad. Number six, numero seis. Let me see. One hundred twenty. 
120. Número siete. Eighty-eight. Eighty-eight. Número ocho. First. 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 Número nueve. Third. Third, third, third. En número diez. Second, second, second. Okay, now that's it. Eso es todo. Let's go ahead and take a picture of that. Do not forget, no, no olviden poner su nombre abajo de la picture, ¿ok? Ok, I already got... Let me see... Okay, I got Fernando, I got Alba, all right, I already got Adrián, oh, very good, okay, Carla, Luis, Nivia, okay, excellent, okay, very good, excellent, okay, all right, oh, excellent, very good, now, um, let me see. Now, guys, I will ask you, I will tell you, I'm sorry, I will tell you a question. Les voy a hacer unas preguntas siempre relacionadas a los numbers y ustedes me van a tener que dar the answer. For example, número uno, what time is it? What time is it? Escribir su respuesta, please. What time is it? What time is it? Okay, number two, numero dos. How old are you? How old are you? Okay. Now, this one, la siguiente es una pregunta random, pero estoy seguro que ya saben porque la vimos día uno. How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? Okay. Number Four. Number four. What's your phone number? What's your phone number? Si no quiere poner el suyo, invéntelo, okay? What's your phone number? What's your phone number? Siguiente pregunta. How many children do you have? How many children do you have? How many children do you have?
Okay, so that's it. We finished that part with that. So now please, once again, take a picture, screenshot and send it. Okay, I got Alba. Okay, very good. I got Fernando. Catherine. Okay. Okay, Carla, okay, very good. Now guys, uh, with the last part, with the adjectives, because I, I know that this part is probably a little bit difficult for you. As I said at the beginning, I'm just going to take the most common ones, los más conocidos, so you don't have problems with that. Or how are we going to do it? ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? I am going to tell you the adjective in Spanish. Voy a decirles el adjetivo en español. And you will write it in English, okay? Fácil, okay. Are you guys ready? Empezamos. Number one. Elegante. Elegante. Esa palabra la vamos a poner en inglés. In English, of course. Yes. Okay. Número dos, number two. Atractivo. 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 Number three, número tres, gordo, gordo. <laughs> number four. ¿Puede ser gordo o gordito? No, gordo. Okay. Gordo. Number four, número cuatro. Let me see. Alto. 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 Number four or number five. Vamos por el cinco o el cuatro. Five. 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 Okay. Number five. Pequeño, pequeño. De cualquiera de las pequeño maneras que persona, existe la palabra pequeño. No, it's cualquiera, animales o personas. Okay. ¿Sí? All right. Number six. Bonito o hermoso para cosas y anim y, I'm sorry, no. Sí, animales y mujeres. Okay. okay, and the last one, la última. Guapo. O bonito. Solo para hombres. No Espero que se recuerden de esa diferencia, ¿verdad? Sí, me acuerdo, pero no me acuerdo cómo se escribe. Ok, eh, en este caso lo importante es que yo, no importa que no sepa cómo se escribe directamente, pero si sí veo que tiene un poco de sentido. 
y que se recuerda un poco, ahí vamos, ¿ok? Remember, this is just for practice. Esto es para práctica y para ver en cómo están todos en todo el sentido de lo que hemos visto till this moment, hasta este momento. So, ese era el último. So, try to send the pictures for the last part. Por la última parte. Ya recibí de Gabriela, Alba, Ana, Adrián. Oh, very good. Excellent. Very nice. Okay. That's pretty much it, guys. Eh, esto es más que todo la práctica del día de ahora. Please, guys, remember, this was a practice. Esta fue una práctica para mí y para ustedes también, en mi caso, para verify, verificar cómo están ustedes en cuanto a las cosas que hemos visto. Y para ustedes, to remember, para recordarse de las cosas que ya vimos. Okay, so uh, just let me tell you, try to study at home. Traten de estudiar en sus casas, as I told you. Please try to do that to practice, to get used to the language, para acostumbrarse al idioma. And then I know it's going to be easy for you, okay? So um, do not forget, guys, also to keep working on the platform. En la plataforma, eh, me disculpo con las personas que les dije que les iba a ayudar ahí. Y aún no les he enviado lo que les dije. Eh, but I will try to do it after the class, okay? Lo voy a tratar de hacer después de la clase. And if you have questions, también las, las personas que han estado haciendo preguntas, eso es muy bueno, ¿sí? Para evitar cometer cualquier error o cosas por el estilo, cosas con la plataforma. That's very good. So thank you so much, guys, for attending to the class this day. See you tomorrow at the same time by the same channel. So I hope you have a good night and thank you so much for attending to the class, okay? So have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night, teacher. Bye.